rather heavy box of parts. And uh, there's already not a lot of space in there. Well, now we're gonna add a lot more stuff. Colonel Senders is getting electronic power steering. It has a computer that controls it all. It senses the torque that you put in with your hands on the steering wheel and then amplifies that with this motor and gives you power steering. As far as power steering goes, it's extremely compact because that's the entire system right there. But as far as putting it in a power wheels goes, rather large. So the idea is, unfortunately, chop off this whole steering column and then mount this in its place. How did it feel losing all that work? Meh, it's worth it. It sucks, but you know. You know, somebody went to a lot of work to design this bracket and then, you know, plasma cut it out and bend it to all the right specifications. Well, all I need is this middle part, so now I'm gonna chop it up in the piranha. <laughs> they did all that work, but they made the mistake of selling it to Grand Hard Plumbing Co. They did, yes. Ron is a champion. Yeah. Like it's nothing. Like butter. back at the power steering here, and um, I got it all braced and supported and way sturdier than it's ever been. I added this little brace here, welds right onto the drive shaft guard, which is also removable. So in terms of getting the exhaust pipe out and the drive shafts and stuff when disassembling this, that'll make it easier. And then there's also a little tab on this side just because it was super easy to add a little bit of strength that way. And then up here, I went ahead and just used these three little tiny sections of bolt, actually, six mil bolts. Um, and I just tacked them to this collar here and then to the uh, brackets on this part, and that makes it plenty strong. And now I'm gonna hook it back up to this spare battery, which I have on the charger this time, so it'll actually have all of its power. Um, and test it out and see how it feels now that there's not a whole bunch of play and everything. Yeah. to see how it is like with the bumps when you're actually driving it. Also got the steering computer mounted. And I think it's pretty hilarious that there's a whole computer for the steering in this thing. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. It's all mounted up, wired up, and uh, good to go. Right, it's ripping time. got a little melty. That's why it was hanging. Got that throttle cable zip tied up. It's time to send it. Yesterday 
I was doing donuts in the uh, sprint cart and it was nearly impossible to make it donut. This thing is all wheel drive and it just takes no effort at all. You just, it's a donut machine. I can't wait to get some proper cyclone donuts going at some point. So we're gonna roll around the creek, see what kind of rock crawling we can do. Yeah, I mean, you know, gotta test out the power steering at low speeds on some technical terrain. See what she can do. for sure is the power steering it was a total win totally worked and it really needs some tuning so in the next episode we'll have a professional out here properly tune it with the Haltech and send it but for now let's see if she can't make it up the steepest hill on the property because why not can no problem we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys that's all we had time for this week but i wanted to give you an update on the triumph and the 2j mower these are projects that are just going to take months and we'll make episodes when we have them but our friends from boost rodeo found us a transmission for this thing so now we just need the bell housing to mate up to the 2j and then we'll be doing an episode on that soon we have a lot of ideas we're really excited for that guy so it's coming very soon and with the triumph we've been rallying it around and we're 100 percent convinced it does need a full exhaust, 100%. And hopefully things will open back up in Washington soon if everything's contained and all, and we'll be able to take it to autocross. So an exhaust episode will be coming out for this guy soon. And for the Sprinter car, we are getting some new shocks for that. And if you guys want to see more of that, let us know in the comments, because we're really not sure if we just want to fix it up and have a cool little rig to play with when our friends come over, or if we really want to go all out and give it good suspension and make it really cool. So let us know your thoughts on that one. And thank you so much for all your support in the giveaway. That's really going to help us take things to the next level. We'll be announcing a new giveaway soon along with a bunch of merch. So thanks again for that. We're definitely going to keep that going. That worked out really well. And if you watched the video this far, then I guess you deserve to know that Cinderella might be making wishy noises soon. So I'll leave it at that.
Mm-hmm.